This is See Us Enterprises. Twenty-two boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. For that small band of very strange people, welcome to your favourite part of Deal or No Deal. This is it. There are so many people that watch this show because they love to see the expression on the face of the person who selected, because they really don't know. And sometimes we have real screamers and then you have people who just want to look cool and go, oh, that's me. <laughs> and then there's the... <clears throat> and generally speaking, the ladies go... <gasps> ah! Ah! Well, who's on the radar in the East Wing? Not you, Rio. You haven't been here very long. Lucy hasn't been very long. Ginge, hello. Hello. <laughs> How many games have you done? 20. 20. You're on the radar, certainly. How will you react, Gary? I'll probably shout, who's the daddy? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Elaine, how many? Oh, what were you making? 17. Oh, 17. <laughs> it could be you, Elaine. How, how will you react? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. How many, Dan? This is 23. 23. How are you going to react? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Ooh, is it Dan? Well, here come the names. You see, there are those that say the way you react is a clue to how you're going to play the game. How about that? Dan. Yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, Dan. Take the walk of wealth. You are here at last. Dan Hall, uh, from the West Midlands. Which part of the West Midlands? From Stourbridge. Stourbridge. Uh, you're at college studying animal management. Indeed, Tell yes. me more about that. Um, well, it's a, a career I've always wanted to pursue. Um, and I was at a time in my life where I was getting disheartened with my career. Because um, you were uh, in the prison service. I was in the prison service, yes. Animal but... management? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed, yeah, wild animals to other kind of wild animals, so... And I've always been called Mr Muscle because of my size, so I love the job everyone else hates, so, yeah, it's brilliant. I can't see... <laughs> I can't see you as a prison warder. No, everyone says that. Everyone says that. So, animal management, you're into a subject that I think qualifies you for taking him on. You're very good with reptiles, Indeed, aren't you? yes, yes, I have yeah. a passion for reptiles, yes. Yeah. And here we are. Here is the truth Indeed. about um, your particular interest. Yeah. That's a, a Burmese python. Um, that's actually a reptile sanctuary. As part of my course, I was, um, I, I was helping there that, as, as a work placement. And that's one of the Burmese pythons they had that was suffering from a cold. Uh, yeah, indeed, yeah. Um, unfortunately, we lost that one because they're, they're very, very hard to, uh, to get to recover. It takes a very long amount of time and a lot of care and a lot of attention. And that one was a little bit too far gone. We, we thought we'd cured him, Aww. but unfortunately, not long after I, I left, he... He passed away. Oh, I suppose if they have a cold, they can't blow their nose very well. Can no, they? it's not very nice when they sneeze because it kind of, yeah, no, that's not nice at all. Yeah, and what have we got here? That is my lovely little daughter, Chloe. She's about uh, 10 hours old there. She's um, three weeks old today. So, uh, yes, it's been that very hard a... being here. Yeah, I'm sure. That very sleep deprivated me there and uh, a very, very cute little baby. My little pride and joy. No yes. reference to uh, the person that manufactured her. <laughs> oh, my much better half sitting in the audience, Lorna. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Lorna, how are Hello. you? Hello, I'm good, thank you. Now I'm worried, <laughs> who's got Chloe? 
Your, my mum, her yeah. nanny, is having a whale of a time ah, right. looking after us. I think there was almost violence over who was actually going to get to look <laughs> after the baby while we were away. <laughs> so congratulations, and uh, you. your mission is nearly over, so you will be going back indeed, to Chloe. Indeed, It's that bit of, bit of sweet moment yeah, indeed, here. Yeah. Focus on the game, and then we say goodbye. Are you happy to start? I am indeed, yes. I need you please to confirm that you chose box number one at random before the game began. I did. Sealed by our independent Judy Case, who seals all 22 boxes. It was, the yeah. only person who knows where the money is. Thinking about you. I think you're just going to play a random game. I am indeed, yes, no system. Well, you might be able to benefit from a big error that the banker made yesterday. Indeed, yes. I'm not sure what mood he's going to be in. No. But if your opening round is strong, you might have him on the ropes. Dan, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> where to start? Where to start? Where to start? I think I'm going to start with a fellow Midlander. Terry, number 11, please, sir. Terry, could you please open box Thank 11? You. Top man done. All the best. Thank you. Bang! Yeah. <laughs> Highest from the blues. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I might be ending up adopting the Laura position, because it seemed to do very well for her, so uh, <laughs> see if it rubs off on me, hopefully. Um, number 7, please, Sarah. Good luck, Dan. Thank really you. Thank you, very much. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice start. <laughs> oh dear. Um, wonderful Hassan, number four, please. Good luck, Dan. Thank Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh dear. 35,000. Not to worry, not to worry. I'll pick it. Oh, and it was all going so well. Let's get back to, back to the blues. Lovely Lucy, number 19, please. Oh! <laughs> Alright, now. Yeah, good. good. Good luck, Dan. Thank you very much. Oh! Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. Come on, and everyone grows. 75,000, 35,000, 1p, 750. Pressure. 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 Only one well. way back from that, 10p. Yeah, indeed. Who's got the 10p? Alex, I think you've got the 10p. Box 20, please. Good thinking. Yeah. Pop us a blue, Dan. Thank you very much. Oh. 15,000. That's a word. Picked it. Thank 15. You. We didn't really want that, did we? Not really, no. Well, here we go. Indeed. Here's the man who's going to be very important in your life now. Hello. Oh, he's not sounding very good. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, he had a terrible night. Uh, I kept thinking about the hideous mistake he made with Carol. Yeah, it's reminiscing. Yeah. Never good. No, no. She um, she was going to deal at 22 and he went and let her push him up to 26. You, you squandered £4,000 yesterday. Oh, the banker couldn't sleep last night. Oh. Sympathy coming in waves. Oh, he had this terrible nightmare that actually he'd given away a quarter of a million pounds and the player spoke to him. Couldn't work out whether it was man or woman, but the player said, quarter of a million pounds. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Boston. Midlanders, they're your nemesis. You're having more trouble with Midlanders than the South Wales girls. Oh, he's now terrified that it's not just a nightmare, it's a bit of an omen that someone from the Midlands is going to win a quarter of a million pounds. As long as the quarter of a million is there, he's worried that actually that uh, nightmare could come true. Uh, he's got brummy fear. <laughs> Seven and a half oh. thousand. Which is wow. very good. Yeah, exactly. Considering that. Yeah. <laughs> I never expected that much. That's nope. a fantastic offer. Even with the penny going, that was not a good first round. 
But I was never going to go on the first round, so no. I am ready for the question, please. Seven, no. seven and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> at you, Rowley. It's going to be you, mate, number three. Yeah. Yeah, I think your good night's sleep last night might uh, provide me a blue. <laughs> oh, you had a good night's sleep, did you? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Why was it any different to previous night's sleep? Because I went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> good, Rowley, thank you. Would you please reveal the contents of box three? Good luck, Dan. Thank you very much. really blue for you, mate. Thank you. Oh, oh. dearie me! Well, the bank is safe for a minute, isn't it? Yeah. Not to worry, mate, not to worry. Yeah, the banker is now feeling a huge amount better. Come on, Dan. The man from the Midlands is not making There's the banker's nightmare plenty. come true. There's still plenty. Oh, dear. Um, number 14, Kaz, please. OK, Kaz, can you give us one of those blues, please? I hope so. True gentleman, Jan, Dan, Jan, Dan. <laughs> My answer to anything, don't worry, it's OK. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. You had a little inkling, didn't you, that it was going to be you today? I had a little inkling. So, no doubt you have prepared this moment. Here is the not at all. But we shall I'll try something. OK, the nation is here. OK. Well, nation, enjoy your cup of tea and enjoy your uh, toilet break. Please come back and give me some support. It's been a poor start, but as we all know, this is the most unpredictable game show in the world. Excuse as me proved. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I thought that was a bit odd, but I didn't want to say anything because he was in flow. Oh. But I'll, I'll point it out now. Who were you talking to? I have no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Because the nation are here, but oh, you were looking over there. Yeah, I keep... I'm sidetracked by the board, I apologise. Yeah, I mean, would you prefer the nation to move over there? No, no, not, it... at all, not at all. Because we can do that, <laughs> look. <laughs> The whole nation has moved. <laughs> and I've forgotten what I said now as well. <laughs> right. Yeah, there, there's the nation. There. Hello, nation. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please come back and join me on the roller coaster ride that is the most unpredictable game show in the world. Thank you. <laughs> it actually was rather good in the end. Thank you. Unpredictable show continues. He's into animal management, but at the moment, you're not managing the banker very well at all. Not at all, man. No. Uh, did you think during the break about the next box? I did indeed. And, and what did you come up with? I'm going for Paul, number 21, please. Paul over there. OK, Paul. OK, good luck, Dan. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. Opposite way. Hey! Hey! That's a bit better. He's obviously going to feel very good about the fact you took the quarter oh, yes. of a million out. Yes, I'm sure. So I'm now going to try and unsettle him a little further, Thank OK? You. On your behalf. Thank you very much. It's very important that he does not um, feel too confident. Hello. Can we just talk through in some detail um, that key point in Carol's game yesterday? Um, where she, I think, did telegraph the fact that she was going to accept 22,000. You phoned her, and in the end, she pushed you up to 26,000. So, in effect, you spent 4,000 pounds that you didn't have to spend. Talk me through that thinking. He hung up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. well um, so we could just carry on then. <laughs> well, we could do actually. Yeah, I mean, we, could, we could do that, or we could um, just have a chat about lizards. Or... Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, banker. Let's talk to you. Oh. Hello, sir. He says he's not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, bottoms. <laughs> OK, he says he's going to conduct everything through me now. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might have upset him slightly. Ha, <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> That's a very good offer. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I will do. I think his last comment was, get stuffed to you. <laughs> <laughs> the offer was £3,750, which I think is very respectable, bearing in mind uh, the state of that board at the moment. But on that note, I think I am ready for the question. £3,750. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> I've had quite a few dealings with the Stoke Massive, so I could do with some help from the Massive Stokey. Rio number two, please. I'll do my best for you. Oh, thank you very much. I really will. Cheers. Good luck, mate. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Good start. Absolute start. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, put me down. Uh... Do me a favour, tell her to put me down, will you? <laughs> <laughs> you, you actually look quite settled and comfortable there, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Can't get my arm back. Do you want to come and sit up here, sir? You've got a bit more room, then, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Kerry, number 12, please. Well, I've got one. I could do with another blue, please. Good luck, Dan. Thank you. Oh! Yeah. Better. That is better. That is better. Um, Elaine, number 18, please. All oh, the best, Dan. Thank you very much, Elaine. Thank you. Oh, can I get it out? Oh, oh, and it was going so well. It was, wasn't it? That's all right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Sorry, Dan. That's it. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. Just improving, and then it went a bit horrible. It was indeed. It was indeed. I think you're going to have to be courageous. Have to be courageous. Shall I just? Yeah, I'm oh. not too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, sir. Banker says he feels it's an excellent opportunity for him. He says you don't always pass on everything you. He says down the telephone. Oh. oh. So I'm now being criticised. <laughs> but today we're going to hear everything about Noel. <laughs> <laughs> he drinks. <laughs> what? He says you drink. You steal. <laughs> what? <laughs> or you steal things from the set. <laughs> Stolen. And you have a foot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's why you wear those weird shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. I must admit, I could be happier. I could. It was. Indeed, yes. I would have liked to hold on to that, admittedly, yes. Huge gap, yes. Fantastic. Thank you. He says he thinks I've got steel and I've got gumption, and my new offer is four and a half thousand pounds. Gosh, I wasn't expecting that either. But he is right, and I would like the question. Do you want to ask him? <laughs> Four and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal, thank you. <laughs> Come on! Come on! It's up to you, David, please, if you could provide me a blue, number 15. Good luck, mate. Thank you very much, thank you. Oh. What is it with you? I have no idea. No idea. Sake. Not to worry. Not to worry. Cheers. Thank you. Good luck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I am going to have to ask my lovely.
lovely neighbour Lillian. If she could please give me a blue. Five pounds, please, Lil. Right, Dan, you've looked after me from day one, so good luck. Thank you very much. Oh, oh. dear me! Can we, like, rewind and start again? That is... <laughs> that is horrific. Not to worry. Sorry, Lillian. Not your fault. I'll fix it. Ah, don't be silly. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Oh, dear. You know, Dan, all those predictions that you've had... Yeah. I remember them. Yes. Predictions? In the, yes. I must admit, during games, I have a habit of predicting the colour in the contestant's box. <laughs> So what do you think is in box number one? I'm still fairly confident there's a red in there. Um, it's how the game how the game starts and, and what boxes are taken out at the it's beginning. It really depends which red. Then. Indeed, yes. yes. Well, I was hoping it was a big one, but... Well, we've happen. still got 20,000. 20, is a lot of money, yeah, don't get me wrong. 20,000 pounds could be sitting there, no problem at all. Money. We, uh, we are going to take a break. Okay. So, um, you did very well to encourage people to come back last time. I think there's even more urgency to encouraging them because uh, this is dodgy indeed indeed which one would you like oh oh decisions we should stay here um nation as you can see i need all the help i can get so please come back and, and give me as much support as you can thank you very much we need your positivity we return do please <laughs> Own here. Don't miss next week's Halloween shows where we'll be playing Trick or Treat with the Banker. It's going to be ghostly and ghouly. Let's win lots of spondooly. Some money because uh, just had a baby, Chloe, Indeed. and uh, his wife Lorna is here in the, in the audience. And um, we're nearly at eight bucks, and you've got to have a four and four, which oh, means yes. means the next one has got to be blue. We want to get you that money for the baby, for doing the house up, for continuing your animal management course. Yeah. I hope I hope you're going to have a blue now, and the banker will have to take you a little more seriously. Same, same. I need your help, big man. Can you give me a blue, please, Roy? All the best, now. Thank you very much, Roy. Thank you. B! Cheers, It's for you. I feel awfully privileged talking to you so much. Okay, it's time for the pilgrims to learn the biggest secret about Noel Edmonds the banker knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, we'll call it evens. We'll go back to the way we were. <laughs> right then. Yes, it's it's a tricky board, very tricky. What he said actually is true. I don't think we can argue. Uh, you may yep. be a determined man. You may have decided you're going to come along here, make the most of uh, your one opportunity to Indeed. play a deal. You may be a good reader of the board. You've been very astute when you've been over there. But if you don't have the boxes to work with, all of that means very little. Too true. Or actually, it means a thousand pounds. No, that's still that's not a bad offer for that board. I'll tell you, that's not. A, I've seen words. Dan, you know what you always say, best case scenario, worst yep. case scenario? Yep. What do you want to go home with? 
£250,000 would have been nice. <laughs> it's time to reassess. Oh, yes. What do you think, Daddy? It's up to you, Dan, but I think you should go one more round and see how it turns out, eh? See, great minds think alike. Can I have a question, please, now? £1,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> well, Dan, let's believe you can do it. I agree with Gary. When you look at the thousand, then you think yeah. of the three, five, and the twenty. It's worth a shot. It is indeed. So now we need that all blue round. The lovely ginge, please. Box number five. All right, ginge. It's quite simple. Four blues there. I don't want to see a single red come out. It's not the end of the world if it's a thousand, but this is the point where you actually want to strip out blues. Good luck, Dan. You're a Thank great you. guy. Oh. And in a game like this, that is one you need to hold on to. <laughs> it is a measure of the misfortune you have suffered that if we'd seen 3,000 in the opening round, people would have cheered. Yep. But because of this situation, it gets a groan. You needed it. Get off the left, find two blues. Debs, number nine, please. Yeah, Debs, we're hoping you've got a blue. I think you got the 50. I hope you've got a 50. I hope so too, Dan. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, that was fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 One more. You, you said it earlier on. This game is unpredictable. It twists and turns. And one more, if it's the 50p in particular, one more blue. Yeah. And suddenly, you've got a totally different game. You really have. Number eight, Bibs, please. Good luck, Dan. Thank you very much. Bibs? Yeah? What's it going to be? A blue, hopefully. Delete, hopefully. What's it going to be? A blue. Thank hey. you. Well, yeah, it would have looked fantastic, wouldn't it, if you kept the 3,000 in there? Of course, that, yeah. That is looking a lot better. Mm. And it is not going to be a thousand pounds that he no. values. Box number one. Maybe this is going to be one of the really good turnarounds. Hello. He's like, There's still a long way to go. He's not prepared to go shooting up because there isn't a lot of money sitting there in the game. But he is going up. And he says he thinks this is a very fair offer and you should definitely take it. £2,200. There's grounds, but again, that's yeah. a good offer for well, that board. I, I, did ignore, I did ignore the groan, the groaners. What do you think, Lorna? I think it's a good offer, but... Um... I don't know, I, I was just thinking, Dan, the numbers that you've taken out had the big money in are numbers that are quite important to us. I'm just thinking you've still got number one there, which Indeed. is your birthday. Indeed. Indeed. So, thinking What's positive. Yeah. Can I just bring Lorna down? Yeah, of course. Thank, Thank you Dan. very much. Yeah. <laughs> Are we in that area where you two need to think about how much 2,200 would really change your life? It would make a significant difference. It it's not quite enough to clear debts, but it would do virtually everything else okay. that I wanted to do. But, as I say, I've been predicting the colour of boxes all the way through, and this is kind of putting my theory into the ultimate practice. I think it's to you. You've always had good feelings about what's in boxes, so go with your feeling and that's, that's fine, Dan. Because as the old cliche says, so best case, worst case, Worst case, I end up with 50p and 250. Best case, I've got 5 and 20. I do like the best case. <laughs> you ready? I am indeed. £2,200. 
deal or no deal. No deal. Okay, with the luck you've had today, that was actually a very brave call, Dan. What's it going to be? It's going to be Daddy Cool, number 16, please. All right, Gary. 1,050p, 250 pounds. They're the three we need. Thanks, Gary. I'm praying this is a blue for you, Matt. Thank you, really. Thank you very much, mate. You look like Mr. Cool, but I, I tell you, I'm finding it tense. I want you to have a 5,000, 20,000 climax. It has to be the beautiful, always beautiful Aurora box number 13, please. Thank you, Aurora. We're seeking 1,050p. Thank you. All the best. Thank you very much. Oh! Oh! Worst, worst possible outcome. Sorry, oh, don't be silly. Don't be silly. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's been a low-value game and you're scrabbling around now to hold on to that 5,000. Yes. You've got to miss that. We've got to believe it's right behind you right now. Who's got the 50p? Because it's not me. Uh, newbie death box, newbie death box, newbie death box, newbie death box. Newbie, number six, please, Mary. Mary, welcome to the game. We want 50p, please. Thank you. Oh, well. Game, set and match. Yeah. Well done, Mr Banker. That'll make him feel better anyway, won't it? Suddenly, 2,200 looks Seems like, like yes. a fortune. Hello. Yes, he confirms. He's feeling a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Probably fever is gone. Yeah, OK, this one you definitely won. There are certain games where the banker is able to hedge his bets because the player is just so unlucky. And now, 50p and £1,000 are joined in your brain by £220. Do you want to go for it? Do you want to hold on to £220? You can, you can do a lot with 220 quid. You can, you can. Would you like the question? Yes, please. £220, deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Hello. Two things, yes? Two things are... Channel 4 lawyers have insisted that he retracts the accusation that I have a drink problem <laughs> and that I steal from the studio, but he's standing by the foot fetish. <laughs> and the other point is swap or no swap. I was really hoping he wouldn't offer me the swap. Swap or no swap? No swap. No swap, OK. <laughs> You have to swap. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, just with the relentless bad luck you've had, Dan, it feels like that this is going to be going home with the blues, isn't it? I'm sure, I'm sure. So I'm let's find out it. whether the bad luck runs all the way to the end or whether there is a small consolation. Close the game. 22's got the 50p in it. You're absolutely right. You forecast that you had a red. Unfortunately, the red you had was the lowest red we have. That's the way it goes sometimes, oh, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I mean, that was just wall to wall lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm mildly devastated that it didn't go my way. Um, I've got £1,000. And I've had a great time. And I've met some fantastic people. And I've got £1,000.
Well, good luck with your studies. Thank you very much. And uh, love to Chloe. Thank you. Yes, it's been a thank great you. pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And uh, thank you for taking it so well. Dan, no it is problem. a thousand pounds. Thank you very much. <laughs> what a lovely guy. And a uh, very good way of taking it. Yeah, he's bitterly disappointed, obviously. That is uh, one of the unluckiest games we've had for a while. And this has been quite an unlucky period. But we're about to move into a rather exciting season where anything could happen. I'll see you over the weekend before we kick off Halloween week. And judging by one or two things I've heard, I'll tell you more over the weekend, but it's going to be sensational. See you soon.